Okay, in the UK we have two main species of wild oats. So we have um, spring germinating wild oats, Avenia fatua, and, we ha and they're the common wild oats that most people see, and we have winter germinating wild oats, so Avenia, Avenia sterilis. Um, and they, they do, by their names, germinate at different periods of time, but you can get both in the same field. Okay, so the clearest way of identifying the two species of wild oats is actually obviously um, at heading, it's, it's when you're at seed return, and they have very different seeds. So spring germinating wild oats have a single seed with one tail. I'll just show you that. So they have one tail and they're very, very common. And the winter germinating wild oats have two seeds. So you tend to have two tails on the seed and these are much less common. It's important to know which species you have because it may change your herbicide control program or any cultivations that you may be doing. And it's always important to map weed species, but particularly for wild oats, and they're obviously very easy to map because you have very large, nice patches of, of the species above the crop. So you should always map and monitor to see from year to year whether there's any changes in the patches. Um, wild oat seed can remain dormant in the soil for a long time. And so, again, cultivations can have quite a big effect on um, what will then emerge in your next crop. So quite often with black grass control strategies, you're saying bury seed and leave it down and it will decline. It's not so straightforward for wild oats because you can bury those seeds, but they will remain um, viable in the soil for a lot longer and there's much larger seed, so they can germinate from depth. So it's much better for any herbicide control program on grass weeds to make sure you get the right weed growth stage for that target species and herbicide option. So we always say with any of the herbicides you're looking at an actively growing weed, you want to make sure that um, weed is in good conditions to get the best out of your herbicide. So if Quite often herbicides are applied in conditions that are suboptimal, so then you will, um, the weeds will be not as well controlled and often they'll go through to um, produce seed in that year. People have concerns about those being resistant. They may well not be resistant, it's just that they haven't been well controlled in that season. Obviously if you do have concerns of resistance then you should collect seed and have a test taken.